Linda met Harvey when she was only 20 years old. She was young and impressionable. He courted her handsomely and promised many things, and it seemed to Linda that she had met the perfect man. Harvey seemed madly in love, and after a few weeks after they had met, he proposed to her. If not for his proposal, Linda would never have jumped into bed with him after a few dates, especially since she'd never known men before. And now they had been together for two years, but the wedding had been continually postponed. First, according to Harvey, she had to finish her studies. Then he had to find a good job to support the family. Then a new job interfered, and there was no time to deal with the wedding. In general, Harvey was masterful at avoiding his promises. Soon, Linda graduated from college and got a job, and their life together became even stranger. When it came to serious purchases, Harvey was a master at blabbermouth. One day, the girl wanted to buy a dishwasher, which she had long dreamed of. Harvey agreed with pleasure. He took Linda to an appliance store, helped her choose a dishwasher, but when they got to the cash register, his phone rang abruptly. Linda stood at the cash register, expecting him to come back in a minute, but he still did not come back. She paid for the purchase with her card and went looking for her boyfriend. He was still on the phone when she found him. After that, Harvey helped her load her purchase into the car and drove her home. Linda was waiting for Harvey to offer at least to divide the sum equally because they both needed the dishwasher and it would be installed in his apartment, but he did not offer it. Instead, he masterfully installed the machine so they wouldn't have to pay a specialist and did not forget to brag about it. Linda did not say anything to her boyfriend. And from that day on, such moments in their lives happened quite often. They bought a new refrigerator and a big double bed the same way. Linda did not complain to her friends about her boyfriend's behaviour. She was ashamed. She knew that it was wrong to be silent, but she could not help it. One day, Harvey said he wanted to give Linda new earrings, and it did not matter how much they cost. Linda took a long time to choose and as soon as it was time to pay for the purchase, Harvey disappeared, as usual, for an important call. It did not even stop him that they decided to buy him a chain in addition, which cost twice as much as the earrings for Linda. Again the girl remained silent, and again she hoped that Harvey would pay her back. Never mind, when we get married, we'll have everything in common, she thought, hopefully. Harvey often acted this way. He could forget his wallet when they were at a cafe or a movie and Linda had to pay for everything. Sometimes he asked her to buy something on the way home, even if it meant making a detour of a couple of blocks. He also really liked going to cosmetic stores with her. When Linda was going to buy a new powder or the usual cotton pads, every time he managed to put in her basket men's antiperspirant or shaving gel. And in this case, he chose more expensive products because without her, he usually bought the cheapest ones so as not to overpay. One day, they went to the store to update their clothes. They picked up a bunch of stuff. Linda immediately warned Harvey that she was not ready to spend money on clothes because she had other plans. She wanted to go to visit her sister the other day and needed money for that. But Harvey reassured her. Don't worry, I'll pay. Pick out whatever you like. And she picked out some quite nice t-shirts, new jeans, and a set of underwear. He got himself a jacket, two tracksuits, five t-shirts, sneakers, and ten more pairs of socks. As they approached the cash register, Harvey, as usual, got a call. This time, Linda didn't do what she usually did, because she knew that if she paid for the shopping, she would have not the money to go to her sister, who was waiting for her. When Harvey returned, Linda was still standing at the cash register with unpaid purchases. Babe, can you pay? Because Paul just called me. 
asked to borrow some money until Thursday. I transferred the money to his card. I'll definitely pay you back, don't worry. Linda was not going to go to her sister until Friday. So she paid for the purchase, even though more than half of it was spent on his things. She was a little hurt that he had done that again, but she still hoped that he would return everything, because this time he had promised. On Thursday night, when Harvey came back home from work, Linda reminded the boyfriend about the debt. But Harvey theatrically slapped his forehead and said, Babe, I'm sorry, Paul hasn't paid it yet, and I forgot to remind him. Maybe you can go next week? Linda was shocked. She had spent very little on her shopping that day, and the rest on his stuff, and now she would have to stay home because of it, and hurt her sister, who had waited for her so long. Eventually, Linda had her first serious quarrel with Harvey. After the quarrel, Harvey bought the money the very next day. True, it was late in the evening, and Linda did not go anywhere. With difficulty, but Linda managed to forgive Harvey because she loved him very much. But more and more often she caught herself thinking that he promised too much, but never kept his promises. For example, once he offered to help her father with the porch at the cottage, which had required repair for a long time. Linda's father waited more than six months for the promise, and then he fixed the porch himself. Also, more than once, Harvey promised Linda's mother that he would drive her to visit them, so she could see how well her daughter was living. But each time the trip was postponed indefinitely, and such forgotten promises were a dime a dozen. Most of all, Harvey liked to talk about how he would make a lot of money, and then they would definitely go on vacation to Italy. But in five years of their relationship, they hadn't even been to a neighbouring state. Every year, Linda looked forward to the summer to finally go to the sea, which she loved so much. However, every time, he had important excuses. One evening, Harvey came home and told Linda that they needed to have a serious talk. I'm sorry, babe, but we have to break up. I've fallen in love with another woman, and you need to move out. I'm sorry. That same night, Linda packed her things and left him, leaving behind a bunch of built-in appliances, repairs to the kitchen made at her expense two weeks ago, and countless forgotten promises. I'll pay you back, he lied honestly, looking after her. <laughs>